What's up everybody, you're watching The Cooler. Now today we have a very special episode for you guys. Recently we sent our very own Tahir Moore up to Canada to the Toronto Film Festival, where he checked out an early screening of A Birth of a Nation. Let the high plains of God be on the mouths of the saints and a two-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance on the demonic nations and punishments on those peoples to bind their kings with chains. This honor have all his saints. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Sing to him a new song. Now, Birth of a Nation is a film about the slavery revolutionary Nat Turner. It was written, directed, and starring Nate Parker, who made history when his film sold for $17 million at Sundance. Birth of a Nation adds to a long line of slave narrative movies. So it got us up here at the cooler thinking, are slave movies still relevant? Do we still need them in today's culture? This is what we find out. Yeah, we sent it here up to the screen to talk to the cast to see what they thought. Nate Parker. How you doing? Really quickly, man. Why Nat Turner? It's because it's Nat Turner, you yeah. know, like I, I, I grew up uh, not learning about him or any revolutionary that looked like us. And then in reading about him to learn about, about Denmark Vesey and Toussaint, Toussaint Overture and, yeah. and David Walker and Sojourner Truth and so many that resisted oppression that mm. we don't really get introduced to as young people of color in this country or anyone. Because yeah. I think that there's a benefit for everyone when the history of the, the country is uh, presented in a way that's accurate. When you read this script, what made you want to be a part of it? Uh, I read this script and immediately was just blown away. I go, this is the craziest thing I've ever read. This is amazing. There's yeah. no way this is true. And then I looked it up and I was like, this is true. Absolutely true. Wait, this is true. Why have I never heard? Wait yeah. a second. And then I just got more and more angry. I was like, how have I never <laughs> heard this? Like, this is a true story. And it's this story. And you're telling me no one ever talked about it. This was the first movie that I seen that did not have a white savior. How do you guys feel about that? That was on purpose. Absolutely. That was on purpose. But to, to show that, you know, that we have agency in our own lives. Yeah. Truly, and we can be in the center of our own stories. Nice. And we can save ourselves. Here we have a group of people who have been raised to believe that they are lesser. Mm -hmm. And instead of waiting for a white hero to come in and rescue them from their misery, they decide that they can be their own heroes. I call it FUBU filmmaking, before us, by us. Mm. Um, you know, I think we've, we've all been um, asked to do a number of different narratives yes. uh, surrounding slavery. And I've never had an experience where I felt safe right. um, in, our, in our history and in our reality that it wasn't going to be manipulated. But this story is is real, and it, because it's from our perspective. As Nate says, it's an agent of change, man. Like, you, yeah. can, you can't watch this movie Let's and not same. be affected yeah. in some way, because Absolutely. you see, you see, you see so many things simultaneously. You see issues that we are still dealing with 100% today, yeah. and then you also see the roots of the issues that yeah. we're dealing with and where it comes from. So what I want people to, to um, take out of it, amongst other things, is that they are, they, they were systems in place in you know the 19th century and, and earlier. 400 years of systems yeah. that destroyed bodies, yeah. uh, and people were complicit. And, and we're dealing with a lot of that now. And then what are you gonna do to affect change and really uh, be, a, be something that is gonna progress um, you know, the, the racial climate? I don't think there are a lot of these movies. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there are, there are enough of these movies, enough of, the, enough of these stories. You know, we are marching in the streets right now, like, mm -hmm. and it is, it is necessary. We have to understand our value our worth, our That's voices, cool. making them heard. Like, no one, no one can take us down Absolutely. as long as we keep getting up, as long as we keep standing up. I'm gonna get out, honey. I don't wanna take so much of your time. <laughs> hey, everybody in here, be beautiful and Thank it was you. awesome. Thank you so Thank much you for your time. So I appreciate much. you. You Thank did a great you. job. You know, everybody gave great answers when I interviewed them, but Gabrielle and Hillman really were so passionate about it. You could tell that it was more than a role for them. And everybody, I think, associated with the picture really felt like this was something that needed to be told. So I appreciate everybody for opening up and answering so candidly on camera. Right, so shout out to Nate Parker for making such an amazing movie. Yeah. Definitely, I think the verdict is slave movies still necessary and still important for black culture mm -hmm. and for, you know, our culture in America in general. So make sure you guys go check out Birth of the Nation in theaters today, October 7th, and make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe to All Dev Digital. Drop in the comments and let us know how do you feel about slavery movies? Do you feel they're still important? Let us know down below. I'd like to thank you here for going out there and getting all that amazing Six, footage for us. Here. It was dope. <laughs> and as always, I'm John Scarlett. Thank you guys so much for watching The Cooler.